I come to the gym for torture, man. I know that sounds fucked up, but I come to the gym to beat the shit out of my body. When you're in a fucking gym, put your phone away. Put your headphones in, put your hoodie up, and just don't fucking worry about nothing. And don't pay attention to nobody. Just do what you have in your mind, do what you have planned, and do it to the fucking best of your ability. <laughs> I know having huge, huge arms is cool, but when you come to the gym, I come to the gym for torture, man. I know that sounds fucked up, but I come to the gym to beat the shit out of my body. I want to do the hardest workout possible, and I swear to God, no matter how hard I try to make an arm workout, it just doesn't. It's two small muscle groups, and no matter how hard your arm workout is, it's not going to compare to a hard leg day or a hard back day. There's something about completing a torturous leg workout that makes you feel like a man. Training our arms is just fun. The tricep press down is gonna work the front side of the tricep. What we're doing with an overhead extension or an overhead skull crusher, or whatever you wanna call it, we're gonna work the long head of the tricep on the back side of the back side of the arm. That back side of the arm is what gives you the size of your arms. If you see people with really big arms, that's usually because they have huge triceps. A guy with huge biceps and, and small triceps, I'm telling you, is not impressive. We see somebody with really thick triceps. That's what really blows your mind. You don't know it's a tricep, but you see this massive arm. It's that long head of the tricep is what gives you that thickness. And we're supersetting it with a reverse grip curl. We wanna work the brachialis and the top of the forearm, which is also gonna create the illusion of thickness because as we come up, we build this muscle here. When you look from the side, we're gonna create that, that thick looking arm. And then we're getting a little bit of forearm as well. So we don't look like we have some pegs hanging off a couple arms. Over here we're doing a reverse press down. Same thing, we're working on the long head. Still trying to create more thickness. We're doing a variation of a preacher. I feel like when your arms are up in that position, that machine's in, you get a better contraction in your bicep. So I like to do that one. We do a light, but we make sure we really feel that contraction.
that's it, man. When you're in, when you're in a fucking gym, put your phone away. Put your phone away. Put your fucking headphones in. Put your hoodie up. And just don't fucking worry about nothing. Put your hat down. Put your brim over your fucking face. And don't pay attention to nobody. Just do what you have in your mind. Do what you have. Do what you have planned. And do it to the fucking best of your ability. It doesn't matter if it's if it's record breaking and somebody's watching you fucking bench five plates or if you're benching two plates. Just get in there and fucking work, man. One block on top of another. My first show, I was 192 pounds. It was just day after day, meal after meal, building block after fucking building block. And I'm 20 years later, and I'm one of the men at the top of the game, and uh, I wouldn't change it for the fucking world. So, don't let anybody tell you not to do what you want to do. Keep your eyes and ears open. Pay attention to what you're doing. Don't be fucking delusional. Be realistic in your goals and attack them with everything you got. Until muscle and strength comes down again, I will see you guys. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope you guys learned something. Sacrifice without regret, y'all. <laughs>